not welcome. Oh. Fuck you off. Hello? everyone welcome back to my youtube channel those who are new welcome to my channel my name is lindsay scott and this is my second video so for today's video i'm going to show you my everyday makeup routine um, i was hoping to upload this video like two weeks ago but i shot it hated it and then like couldn't be asked to edit it because i hated it that much so yeah and um, before i start this video i have got two disclaimers claim number one i am not a makeup artist whatsoever this is just my preference how i do my everyday makeup and disclaimer number two um, as you can see, I have woke up with an allergic reaction. This is the second allergic. Oh, this is the second allergic reaction I have had in like two weeks. So that is why my face is all red and blotchy. But but yeah, because obviously this video was already two weeks late. Um, I couldn't be bothered waiting for this allergic reaction to go down. So I'm just gonna do my makeup and see what happens. This will probably go even worse than what it already is. But yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. So to begin with, I have already prepped my face with the Epiderm Cream. Um, the only reason I use this cream is because obviously at the minute I've been getting loads of, loads of allergic reactions and this like helps it. Um, like I'm not in the position now to go and try out new moisturisers because it'll just make my skin like 10 times worse. But yeah, this is the cream. It's from Boots. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really enjoy this cream because it smells like an absolute medicine cabinet. But it does the job for the time being. Um, so yeah, my face is prepped with that. But yeah, the disclaimer number two was, obviously, because I have got this allergic reaction, this video might go completely to shit because the foundation might like pure dry and go crusty. But I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. Okay, so my normal everyday routine is to put my hair back in headbands because I hate when the hair gets in my way. Okay, so to begin with, I do my eyebrows first because sometimes I tend to get like a charcoal shadow around my eyebrows. And obviously if you did your foundation first, that will show and just mess it all up. So I uh, like to do my eyebrows first and then wipe around with a wipe to clean it all up. Today I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. And just, I think this is a Morphe brush, I think. But yeah, those who know me know that my eyebrows are like my pride and joy. Um, so I obviously do spend a lot of time of the morning doing my eyebrows. So this process might take a bit of a while. So I'll just show you how I do them and then speed up the rest of the video so you all don't get bored. Okay, so I take the brush and wipe either side of the brush and then wipe off the excess into the lid. Just because I don't like it when it's quite chunky and thick. And obviously I can always dip back into this for the rest of my eyebrows as well, so I'm not wasting any product. So when I do my eyebrows, I literally do, I like to keep them natural, but keep them filled at the same time. So I literally just do light, thin hair strokes through the brow and just build it up. So I start from the arch as well, just to fill in that gap. And into the eyebrow as well just to blend it all out and then I always brush through them just to even out the product in my eyebrow and again that is why I do end up with like a charcoal shadow around my brows so that's why I do my eyebrows first okay so I've just done a thin line at the bottom so after doing the thin line I tend to use the flat bit of the brush and just brush brush and just brush up into the eyebrow and like blend that line out I don't like to take it up too high, obviously, because then it'll be pure, like, square and chunky. And I like to keep the fan bit to here still quite, like, see-through a bit, if that makes sense. Again, I'm just brushing up to even out all that product. So, obviously, these are looking quite messy, so that's why I'm going to go in now with the wipe and just neaten them up. I'm getting underneath and just following that line around. So, as well, I tend to take the brush and face it, like, that way, like, vertically. And then just do like strokes upwards and inwards towards the other eyebrow. And then just lightly inwards. Okay, so that is eyebrow number one done. Obviously, it doesn't look the best until I finish it off with clear mascara at the end. But I'm just going to go off camera and do my other eyebrow. Okay, so now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to go in with my foundation now. And I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty 
hydrate and moisturizer. I absolutely love this foundation. I didn't even know it existed until about three weeks ago. Um, because in the past I always used to use the Fenty Matte um, foundation and like I loved it, but I just didn't like the matte side of it. So obviously, yeah, I came across this and it gives you like a dewy um, finish, which is good. So I'm gonna go in with my Morphe um, Beauty Blender. Usually I do um, swap between using a brush or just using a beauty blender, but today I'm just gonna use a beauty blender. So I just put it on my face and even it out. And then just lightly press it into my skin. This foundation absolutely smells amazing. It smells like cakes. Like cakes or like the smell of Subway when you walk into the shop. And then just pressing it into my hairline to get rid of that whiteness as we know it is not a good look. And then just getting on my ears just lightly to blend it all in. Okay, so to blend down my neck, I'm just gonna use a peaches and cream brush and just blend that down my neck and then just buff in with the beauty blender to just like even it out. Again, I, I tend to stick to doing a dab motion as I feel like when I drag it, the foundation just comes off. And now I am just going in with the beauty blender to even it all out. The foundation is dried into the allergic reaction, which is not good, but we're just gonna carry on and see what happens. So now I'm gonna go in with the Conceal and Hydrate um, Concealer by Makeup Revolution. This is quite white, so I do only put like a tiny bit on underneath just to like brighten underneath my eyes. And then I'm using the smaller version of the Morphe Beauty Blender. I'm just I've done that I'm just gonna go back in with the beauty blender that I still probably got a bit of foundation on from before oh from before just to tie it all in so yeah as you can see the allergic reaction is like like near enough covered up so that foundation obviously is really good coverage so now I'm gonna go in with my cream contour stick it's the L'Oreal Paris inf infallible stick if that's how you say it. But yeah, I just use, I don't even know what make this brush is. But yeah, I'm just gonna take this brush and literally just dab a tiny bit on the top. And sometimes if I put too much on, I'll spread it across the two cheeks. But yeah, again, I do a dab motion and just dab it in to my cheekbone. I always tend to follow the natural line of like the bone structure, just because I don't like when contour is taken to the side there rather than following up around the natural line. That is just a pet peeve of mine. So obviously, this is my everyday makeup, so I'm just gonna keep it quite natural. As I am part of the big fads club, I do contour me for during the day. Um, so I'm taking like the tiniest bit, like four dabs, and then I'm gonna outline my nose and just do it quite light. Okay, that went light. <laughs> Well, that was far from light. And then I'm doing a motion of up and down to just blend that out. And then just so there's no harsh lines, I'm just gonna go back in with the Beauty Blender, down my nose, and then just the sides just to avoid any harsh lines. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a bit of blush just to um, add a bit of colour into my cheeks. So I used the Fenty Beauty Shimmer Matchstick in the shade Yacht Life. Don't know, that's not working, so let's move on. So it's just like a light shade. To be honest, I could have done with the darker shade in this, but I do actually quite like this, and obviously I suppose it's more natural. So again, taking the Peaches and Cream brush and just dabbing the top. Because it's so light, I do tend to like dab quite a bit. And then I literally just press it into the apples of my cheeks. See, as you can see, it is really, really light. So obviously you can build it up as much as you want, but I'm um, just keeping mine quite natural. Natural? <laughs> quite natural. So I like to keep my makeup um, quite dewy and try and like use like the minimum powder like possible. Um, so I'm just gonna use the Laura Mercier setting powder just to bake underneath my eye and on my eyelids just to avoid any creasing. 
I'm just going to use a small beauty blender just to get under my eyes. And then I'm just going to use a brush to get on my eyelids. Just dab it in. I don't like bake here for that long, I'm not going to lie. So once that's set, I just go back in with the brushes that I've used before. Um, just back in everywhere. And then back in with the blush. I am going to use the Becca Powder Highlight in the shade Champagne Pop. This is like literally my favourite highlighter ever. I'm just going to show you the inside. So using another Peaches and Cream brush, I'm just going to dab in. And literally just keep it here. I don't like to go like too high up or too oh too high up there either. So because I don't have like any lips whatsoever, I tend to highlight my cupid's bow quite a lot. And then my chin. And then I do a tiny bit on the end of my nose. Just a tiny dot and then down the bridge of my nose as well. I also tend to do up here and the other side. So normally I do tend to use um, like a more of a shimmer bronzer but I literally can't find it anywhere. So I'm going to use the bronzer from the Benefit palette um, Hoola and just go in lightly just to tie in the highlight because I don't want it to look too, like, too much of a harsh line. And while I'm here, I just get the excess and dab round. Okay, now, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now this is my favourite part of my makeup routine is doing the clear brow gel on my eyebrows because I absolutely love doing them super thick and wolfy and just messy and everywhere. So I'm using the Colour Lash Clear Mascara um, from Collection. This is literally the best clear brow gel I've ever used. And it's like, I think it's £2 in Superdrug. But it does last quite a while and I use it like every day. So first of all I just comb them all out. You have got to be careful when you do draw them on and you're doing this because it is wet so you can transfer some product onto your foundation. So you've just got to be light when you do it. So now I'm combing them up and out. And then combing it inwards as well. So I tend to place the hair so it's like ch 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 like that, as weird as, the, as weird as that sounds. So now I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash on my lashes. This is literally like the best mascara I've ever used before. So yeah, now that you know how I do my mascara, I'm just going to go and finish it off camera because I'll bore you all if I carry that on. So yeah, I've just done my mascara off camera and I've just done the bottoms as well, just lightly going in with the stick. Um, so now I'm going to do my lip. So yeah, normally my go-to lipstick is the MAC Honey Love or the Primark Skin on Skin lipstick. This is literally about 80p from Primark as well, so I literally just love that. But yeah, I can't find the Honey Love one, so I'm going to use this one for today. So yeah, as you can tell, I literally don't have a top lip and I literally have to draw the lip on. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So now that the lipstick has been applied, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow, or is it the other way around? It might be the other way around, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I love to put like a gloss lip, um, obviously to match like the glowy, dewy look. This literally smells so nice as well. Oh, it smells so nice. 
So yeah, that is my everyday makeup routine done. So the only two memory cards that I actually own have just ran out of memory. So I've had to resort to using my phone just to sum up the last bit of the video. So that is my everyday makeup routine done. Um, just another disclaimer, obviously I do have the allergic reaction so my skin isn't looking the best as it could look because obviously it's quite dry. But yeah, I hope you liked the video. I hope it didn't drag on too much. Um, please like and comment if you liked it. Um, and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Bye.